Hello, this is Dana with Steel City Drones. I'm here with Tyler to check out the DJI docking station with the M30 drone. Welcome back to Steel City Drones. I'm Dave King. And as the introduction mentions, we have Dana and Tower on location that are going to go ahead and do a walk around review of the DJI dock as well as a full live demo in flight. So I've been wanting to go ahead and do a review video on the DJI dock but I just did not have the time to be able to do a live demo, which I really wanted to do. I don't see anybody else out there giving you guys a full live demo of how this actually works. And I'm kind of excited that we're able to do it for you. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing my shirt here to promote cancer awareness. I have a really good friend that's going through a rough time and I want to go ahead and show my support for them. And the DJI dock is also known as a drone in a box because of everything it can do. And you're going to get a much better understanding once we do the walkthrough and the live demo. But, you know, the DJI dock now is also known as the dock one because we have a dock two about to come out and be released in the United States pretty soon. More on that information later. But let's go ahead and get into what the DJI dock one is all about. Now, the DJI Dock is made to work exclusively with the Matrice 30T. The DJI Dock is built for automatic and repeatable drone flights for inspection and monitoring tasks. And it's really made for more of remote locations where staffing at that location is limited. But beyond remote locations, the Dock can be used around adverse conditions where it's not practical to put a person. Let's say it's below zero or it's hard to be able to get to. Let's say solar farms that have very tight spaces or in substations where they require very precision flying where autonomous flights can be more effective. So for many applications, you're going to need a beyond line of sight waiver through the FAA in the United States to be able to really take advantage of the dock. And if you need help applying for a waiver, just contact us and we'll be glad to help you through the process. The dock has an IP55 rating, so it can take the most serious of rainstorms without any problems. After the drone lands back on the dock, it has a rapid charge mode that's going to be able to get up to 90% in about 25 minutes. All missions on the dock are going to go ahead and be planned and executed using Flight Hub 2. So if you haven't seen or not really familiar with Flight Hub 2, we have a really good video, really comprehensive live demo showing you the full capabilities on there, but we're also going to show you and give you a really good sample of that in our live demo. The DJI dock has an RTK base station built inside it, so the aircraft will have full RTK compatibility. Uh, also, the DJI dock has an internal battery that's going to allow for backup reserve power for up to five hours. Now, you're going to be able to go ahead and monitor the aircraft and be able to inspect it through the security camera that's on the dock as well as the surrounding areas all through Flight Hub 2. The weight of the DJI dock without the aircraft is about 230 pounds and the dock consumes 1500 watts of power when it's charging. The dock can run on a 120 volt power line. It requires a 5 foot concrete slab as well as an ethernet connection. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Tyler and he's going to go ahead and give you a walkthrough on site. So these are the emergency stops and there's one on both sides. So if you get in trouble, somebody on site can come over and slam that button and it'll uh, bring the drone back, land it and close it up. So in here we've brought in 110 power and it just comes in here and you've got your live neutral in your ground. Um, so that's the power coming in and then we just brought in uh, Cat 6 for the ethernet connection. 
and then um, brought in a grounding rod. So you just install a grounding rod in the ground and then wired into these lugs here. And that's all the connections that happen in there. DJI has their triangle key. It's a special, special wrench. Yep, so you got a special wrench for this door and then to get down inside of it. A couple of the main things, so you've got these push bars and that's what centers it after it lands. And then it has two little connectors right here and those are where it goes in and transfers the data off of the drone to the dock for upload. And then it's also how it charges the battery. And then down inside is the heating and air conditioning unit. And uh, it's one unit that can do both heating and cooling. And then the air actually comes up through these two vents in the back. So it blows directly on the batteries because that's kind of the most critical thing that we're worried about. And then intakes through these. So it gets a nice circular motion for the climate control inside there. Um, another important thing is this is your RTK calibration zone. So when you install the dock, you gotta, what we did is we had our surveyor come out and survey this exact point right there. And then you input that point into the dock controls and that gets it grounded to this location. So all of our maps and all of our photos um, are actually true GPS lo locations. Any point that I go to on my maps is the true location. A couple other features of the box um, are, are here on the lid and you've got this which is actually the rain sensor. It gives you three different, um, well four, it either says that there's no rain, light rain, moderate rain, and heavy rain. Um, and in the settings you can, you can tell it if there's heavy rain don't take off, if there's moderate rain don't take off, so you have a lot of control there. And then you've got the wind sensor. And again, you can go in in the controls and say, you know, if it's over 15 meters per second, don't take off, or you can lower it down to 10. It's, it's user setting. Um, and inside the wind sensor is also the camera. Um, so you can actually see the drone, which is part of your BV loss waiver. Um, part of the BV loss waiver is you need to be able to um, inspect the drone before takeoff. So you do that through this camera. Um, and it actually has a couple of LED lights here too. So. Um, if you have an operation that's going to happen, you know, at dusk or, or at night, you can light up and still see the drone as well. Thanks again, Tower. As you can see, the DJI dock is very sophisticated. It has a lot of technology built into it. And now what we're going to do is you'll see that Tower is getting ready to prepare the dock for a flight mission. So we're going to go ahead and send this back over to Tower. And now we're going to go through a live demo. So what I always do is just take a look with the live view to make sure that there's no obstructions. It's nice and clear, so we're good to go. Come down here to the plan library, create a new plan. I'm just gonna call this one test. And we will select the test route. And we're going to select this drone. And we're going to do an immediate takeoff. You always have to set your return to home height. And then you come down here and hit OK and it starts the process. Pop open the controls. Get my live view going. Drone turns on, transfers the flight plan to it. Once the drone's on, you can get the feed from the camera. It jumps off. It jumps. Yeah. Gonna go up. Go I know it's crazy. Yeah, it's it jumps. It. I forgot to give you that warning. I yeah. got that warning the first time, and I, I forgot yeah, to give you that warning. Take off nice and slow. Boy, that thing just—it's like a rocket. Yep. There you go. It's gonna take our two pictures and come back and land.
that's really good stuff. So I hope this live demo was be able to give you a really good feel for how this works. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be glad to talk to you, give you an official quote. We do sell this. We carry it. We're going to offer on-site training as well. So if you have any questions, let us know. And if you haven't yet, please help us grow the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And also hit the like button on this channel, which helps our YouTube analytics. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.